from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Well, we're going to start with a system that's moving into Florida here very quickly. Just to give you an update. Maybe you haven't heard. This is Nicole. Uh, this is going to be a Category 1 hurricane pretty quickly this afternoon tonight. This is uh, an indication of a hurricane warning that's up around the portions of the Florida coastal area. So here's West Palm Beach. So late tonight, early tomorrow, making landfall. Then it'll weaken, turns the corner, goes all the way to near Tallahassee as a, a tropical storm for Thursday night and Friday, and then turns the corner and moves across portions of the Carolinas as a tropical depression. Uh, so our issue today is going to be kind of the wind starting to show back up. We'll have the south winds at 15 to 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow, south winds at 15 to 25, changing to the north. Friday, that's a chilling north wind, and it's going to get colder. Uh, so the temperatures, the morning low trends. Now, tomorrow morning, the morning low is going to be in the 60s. But then Friday morning, 38. Saturday and Sunday, morning lows will be in the 20s. The daytime highs are going to drop quite a bit. Now, tomorrow's high will be in the mid-70s. But then on Friday and Saturday, highs in the 40s, Sunday at 53, Monday and Tuesday, high temperatures will also be in the 40s. So we're getting ready to go into a pretty significant change here as a fall transitions, maybe even a little bit of winter early next week. So 80 today, partly cloudy. We do have a little bit of patches of fog and drizzle in some spots this morning. Low clouds this morning will kind of thin out this afternoon. So there's the timeline, 76 at noon, 3 o'clock is near 80 in the 7, 8, and 9 o'clock time period tonight. It's mostly just going to be kind of hanging around in the 70s and a couple of 60s. So the cloud deck is low, and it kind of waffles back and forth uh, through the downtown area. So if you're traveling this morning, you may flip the windshield up on occasionally because of the high humidity values in the atmosphere. This is part of our very strong storm system that's going to provide the front in our area tomorrow. It's been producing two to four feet of snow across the Sierra Nevadas, and as it moves through the portions of the northern high plains tomorrow that is where there's going to be some significant snow so gusty south winds today storm chances tomorrow afternoon tomorrow night a colder weekend hard freeze now monday night into tuesday we have a strong storm system approaching and this may be able to provide us with some type of wintry weather precipitation as we get into part of monday evening and early tuesday but tomorrow shower and storm chances are going to start to show up here uh, so this is the timeline two three o'clock in the afternoon it's mostly west of us but then by five six and seven a shower and storm opportunity will start to show up so highs today upper 70s and lower 80s clouds this morning partly sunny kind of breezy this afternoon tomorrow morning we'll start very mild in the 60s and there's our front so uh, after the noon to one o'clock hour you can see that front is approaching our area it'll bring scattered showers and storms now on the map i've placed the highs of the day for tomorrow this is going to be reached around the two and three o'clock hour as the front passes by four, five, and six o'clock, it's gonna get chilly behind this front. Uh, so we'll be dropping down into the 50s and 60s tomorrow afternoon around the five to six o'clock hour. And then it goes all the way into a big coat weekend. So 20s for low Saturday and Sunday morning, highs in the 40s, and then Monday night and Tuesday, we got to watch for the potential of some wintry precipitation for part of the area.